Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Emerald. I hope you like my little holiday hat with the little jingle ball. <laughs> so, um, this is pretty much to discuss um, what's available and ready to ship. I get lots of emails during the holidays, lots of messages on Etsy, through my website, just via email. Hey, what's ready to ship? You know, because you want to get your gifts out there ASAP. But if you're anything like me and have just officially started doing like holiday shopping and like you're like, okay, I still need to get this at least by like the 23rd so I can start wrapping gifts, then um, this is pretty much like a mini holiday gift guide as far as, you know, last minute stocking stuff or gifts, um, secret Santa gifts for your coworkers, for friends, family members thinking of you gifts, or pretty much anything like that. And you know, candles are awesome to give as gifts. All right, so not gonna hold you guys up too much longer. I'm just gonna run through the scents that I have here that are available and ready to ship. So if you need something and you need it boxed off and shipped immediately, they are pretty much available to ship immediately. So yeah, and then the other candles, um, I have some candles that are made to order or are not as popular during the holiday seasons. So they take a little bit longer to make, but my in stock items are the items that are popular and in season. So we're going to get started on that. So let me see. The first one, Christmas tree. It's a four ounce candle tin. It's a little Christmas tree inside. And these candles are all soy wax. I use cotton wicks. And they'll burn up to about 32 hours. So they'll burn for a while. And they're great for small to medium sized rooms. So a room that's up to about 15 by 15 feet. So a nice small room like a bathroom, a bedroom, a small home office or something like that. You can place them in larger rooms, but if you really want to, you know, pack a punch when you walk in the room, then these are great for small to medium sized rooms. So this is the Christmas tree candle. This is pretty much what it looks like. Again, this is, you know, on the site and ready to ship and the link should be up there. There's also candy cane. I don't know if you guys can see this candy cane. So with this candy cane candle, it has swirls of red and white, just like an actual candy cane. And it smells, it smells really good. It smells really good, just like a candy cane. It's very refreshing. We have eggnog. Because, I mean, when else can you burn an eggnog candle? It would be a little bit weird to burn it in, you know, June or July. But then again, I burn pumpkin candles year-round, so whatever this is eggnog again available ready to ship we have apple cider this is malt cider it smells just like apple cider so if you think about when you go to like the orchards around you know september october and then you pick apples from the tree and then they have like the farm and you know all the other stuff and you go in the barns and they sell like big old gallons of like apple cider they did the, the apple cider tastes and smells just like how this apple candle smells. So this is mold cider. Gingerbread house. What better time to have like a gingerbread scent than the holidays? This is like the perfect holiday stocking stuffer. And the perfect thing about the size of these candles, they're perfect for stockings. <laughs> if I had a stocking around, you'd be able to see. But the actual stockings that you hang over the fireplace or around your tree, these are the great size, a perfect size for these. So you can fit maybe like five or six, I guess depending on the size of your actual stocking. Just pop one in to each one. Mom, dad, grandma. We have cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns I keep on the website literally year round. It is very popular. So in the cinnamon buns candle, it has little cinnamon buns. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has little cinnamon buns and it's sprinkled with actual cinnamon on top. So if you're a fan of the scent of cinnamon and cinnamon buns, you will love this candle. So again, it'll burn up to about 32 hours, all soy wax, cotton wick, so they are clean burning candles. And they'll burn for quite some time. There is Fireside. So this is Fireside. And if you look closely, it has a wooden wick. So the thing with wooden wick candles, they crackle when they burn. So it might have like a little sizzling or a popping sound. So if you think of like firewood in a fireplace or um, 
and a campfire. That's pretty much what it sounds like. And it's super soothing. It's very relaxing to listen to. And with the firewood, uh, well, the fireside candle and the wooden wick candle, uh, the wooden wicks, when they burn, they burn a lot quicker than the cotton wicks. So with that, if you need to fill your room quickly, these wooden wicks are great for that. They burn just, you know, quicker than the cotton wick candles and the actual crackling of it is super relaxing. I love wooden wick candles. So this is pretty much what it looks like. And you light it just like how you light a regular cotton wick candle with, um, you know, a lighter or, you know, the little long stick lighter torches just whatever you prefer but this is actually fireside and it has like a nice earthy aroma so if you're not into like the holiday scents or if you you know don't want anything too sweet or you know whatever this is like a great earthy aroma candle you guys will love this if you love earthy aroma scents there is hazelnut coffee hazelnut coffee i also keep year round because everyone loves coffee okay no that's not true everyone does not love coffee i love coffee i know a lot of people who like coffee but i know people are like oh my god i hate coffee it has this nice mahogany color and this candle smells so amazing it smells just like a coffee shop like if you just think about going into like a nice cafe and then they have the espresso brewing from you know their brewers oh my god this smells just like freshly brewed hazelnut coffee. This is a nice strong scented candle. If you love coffee and you love strong scents, you'll love this hazelnut coffee candle. As soon as you open a tin, you'll get like a nice whiff of it. Now imagine how it smells when you actually light it and let it burn for a couple of hours. It will fill your entire room with this hazelnut coffee candle. People will seriously think that you're brewing coffee. All right holiday so we have dickens christmas and i mentioned this in my other live i love this scent this is like the perfect holiday scented candle it's like clove and cinnamon and cedar wood and a dash of apple and orange it's like it might sound a little crazy but once it's all mixed in together this dickens christmas candle smells amazing so it has a little snowflake inside all soy wax, cotton wax, so it'll burn up to about 32 hours. So burn for a while and they'll fill your entire room with this scent. This smells so amazing. Right? And we have molten chocolate cake. This is for chocolate lovers. If you love chocolate, you will love this candle. So it's called molten chocolate cake. And inside, there's whipped cream, a piece of chocolate, and cookie crumbs. And yes... It's all wax, so once you actually burn it, everything will burn, and it'll make your whole entire room smell like chocolate. So it's like the bitter, sweet chocolate, like mm, dark chocolate. It's like dark chocolate. So it's really, it's really strong. It's a nice, strong chocolate scent. So if you love chocolate, you would like this candle. All right. So my last somewhat normal candle ten is lavender lavender is always a year-round candle it's very relaxing now if you were to gift this this is perfect for anyone who you feel might need to relax or unwind it has lavender essential oil in it lavender fragrance oil and lavender buds so it's like triple lavender if you love lavender scents and it's not like overwhelming it's strong but it's super relaxing. So if you want to unwind to like a nice bubble bath and light a candle and bring a book and listen to a little bit of Pandora, this candle, bam, right here is perfect for that. So if you look closely, you'll see the little lavender buds in there and they're sprinkled throughout the candle. So when you burn it, you'll get like triple lavender. This candle is great. Now for the non-traditional holiday stocking stuffers now these gifts could be really good for guys and if you don't know already I make about um, 70 different scents and my goal with creating my business was to make non-traditional candles because you can find a vanilla candle anywhere I wanted to make like the unique looking candles now as I progressed in business I had people reach out to me like hey do you have a baking candle I'm like a baking candle why would I have a baking candle Hey, Miss Fullboy. <laughs> so, um, I got a lot of like feedback and suggestions from you guys. And because of that, 
of course I listen. I was able to expand my inventory to non more non-traditional items that you guys seem to like love and support through my website and Etsy and local events. All right, so I'm gonna get started on some of the non-traditional candles that I have in stock and ready to ship for the holidays. Again, they could be great for guys or just people who you know like weird scents. All right, so this is a gasoline candle. Yes, it's gasoline. Okay, so it does smell like gasoline, like at the pump, but not like overwhelming gasoline. Because, you know, you sit there too long, it's like, oh my God, gag worthy. But you know why you're pumping gas into your car? It's like, ooh, gasoline. Reminds me of a full tank of gas. So this is pretty much what it looks like over and up to 32 hours. So if you know anyone who's weird like me and likes gasoline scent, then this candle could be like a perfect stocking stuffer for them. Because you can't find this at normal candle stores. Like how often do you run into a candle that smells like freaking gasoline? Alright. So the next non-traditional candle scent that's so, so like great is Taco. Who would have thought? A freaking taco candle, right? Okay, so it does smell, it smells taco-ish. It smells taco-ish. And people love it. I've gotten some great reviews from it. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I made it white because tacos have so much stuff. And I'm like, so I want to make it like the tannish, yellowish color of the shell, the brown as the meat, or whatever. So weird white. Taco candle is white. So if you want to give like your guy, your spouse, or someone you know who would like, you know, something unique like this, Taco Candle, people love it. People love it. Garlic. Okay, so I have, I have two children. I have a 12-year-old daughter and an 8-year-old son. So my 8-year-old son loves this. She actually, he actually loves this candle. This is a garlic candle. A garlic candle. Now... Hey Lachey, thank you for the support, I appreciate it. This candle is garlic, okay. So when you smell this candle, it smells literally just like garlic. Not overwhelmingly, sickeningly garlic, but like fresh roasted garlic. Hey Samantha. So with this candle, he likes it because it smells just like food. So when I think of like pasta, like I love to cook. I love to cook. I hate washing dishes, but I love to cook. So when I cook, I use like fresh herbs and garlic and just all the fresh stuff. Thyme, rosemary, so you get like the best. So the kitchen is really like, it smells like just great aromas. Garlic is one of the scents. I always have garlic in my refrigerator, either minced, chopped, or fresh garlic. We have garlic. So when I make like, nice pasta dishes, we have garlic. So I think he associates the garlic scent with like delicious food like spaghetti and Alfredo and just pretty much anywhere, anything. I saute chicken and whatever when I make soups, it's always garlic. So this is a nice unique stocking stuffer maybe for a guy or for someone who you know loves to cook and they're like, yes, this is it right here, garlic. Gunpowder. So earlier today, somebody tagged me in a post that um, I think somebody was looking for gunpowder candles. They're like, uh, Emerald Gourmet Candle makes gunpowders. And that's what I want you guys to think of. When you guys think of candles, I need you to think about me, okay? Or Gourmet Candle, which is, you know, pretty much an extension of me, okay? There are other multi-billion dollar corporations selling candles, but then there's also small business me. So when you think about candles, I need you to think about me, okay? Gunpowder. He had um, told them, like, I make gunpowder. So then I tagged them in the post and left the link and everything. So we'll see where that goes. So this is a gunpowder candle. This is a good guy gift. So a guy who you know loves guns or maybe the shooting range or something like that, they might like this candle. And it has, like, a nice gray color. And as soon as you open the candle tin, you can definitely get a whiff of it. So um, it, it might sound weird, but it's a really – guys will appreciate this. They'll appreciate it maybe more than, like, a rose candle if you were to get them something like that. Because it's really, you know, in the guy genre of candles. All right. Pizza? Pizza. Yes, I do have a pizza candle. Oh, thank you, Samantha. This is a pizza candle, and it has like a nice orange color, and it does smell like pizza. But with the reviews, people either love it or they're like, ah, not so much. So it's 
it's it's kind of in the middle but more often than not like people are like oh my god it does smell like pizza you can smell like the sauce you can smell the cheese because you know pizza it's like a complex scent because there's so many different components in the pizza you have the sauce the cheese you know the meat the bread the dough like everything so there's pizza candle there you go sawdust this has been selling very well on Etsy like the last couple of weeks on the website but more on Etsy than the gourmet candle website so this is the sawdust candle let me make sure you guys can see this well now I'm gonna open it up and inside because you know I like to make my candles look pretty much similar to what they smell like so you know I'll throw in something that looks very similar to its actual name so these are supposed to be like the sawdust bits so this is a sawdust candle and it has like the earthy woodsy aroma of sawdust and I think people love it because it smells like the name and it actually has like the bits inside so I've gotten fantastic reviews off of this on Etsy this candle this is a new candle now I'm, I posted this I think it was earlier this week this is an apple pie candle okay it is an apple pie candle the gag is it smells like fart on the bottom. Now hear me out. I had, I think it was a couple years ago, I've, I had a young lady, she initially reached out to me like, oh, hey, do you have like gross candles? Like, you know, and I get different requests all the time. Like people are like, do you have a Band-Aid scent? Do you have a burnt rubber, a burnt hair scent? Cause I do have burnt rubber. And I'm like, I don't have burnt hair because I don't know that many people who like to smell burnt hair they might want to use a candle that smells good to get rid of a burnt hair scent opposed to burning a candle that smells just like burnt hair so I get unique scents so she asked do I have any of the stinky candles I'm like I make food candles I'm a foodie I like food stuff you know and I know people who love food stuff too so I'm like I don't think you know a stinky candle would fit into that genre of gourmet candle you got pies and you know all the other stuff and then you have fart and doo-doo and stinky breath and then it's like this doesn't go but then I have more people request it and I'm like you know what I do have gunpowder and burnt rubber and bacon and gasoline so I'm like it couldn't hurt so I added it to my website I made a, a stinky breath candle which smells disgusting and a fart candle which smells equally disgusting and gross like I mean gag worthy make you want to throw up in your mouth and um, it sold some it did it did okay but I've always kept it on there then I had a, a few more people that say would you consider covering it with a different scent that smells good so when people burn it they smell the good scent and then after burning it for a while they smell the gross scent I'm like oh my god no, but I'm such a prankster and I like stuff like that. So, why not? Let's see where it goes. So, officially, I decided to make it and test it. And let me explain. When I whenever I make any candle, whenever I make any candle, the whole entire house smells like the candle. So, if I'm making something delicious like, you know, apple cider or Christmas tree, the whole freaking house smells like apple cider or Christmas tree it smells amazing open the door what do you smell apple cider Christmas tree welcome come on in but when I make these nasty behind candles that smell like fart and doo doo the whole house smells disgustingly gross and makes you want to throw up I mean when you open the door the front door to outside you smell it and you're like what the hell is that smell fart candle a fart candle so, I make half and half. Well, it's more fart and then the rest is topped off with like apple or blueberry. So, I do two pours. The first pour is for a disgusting gross. It's white on the bottom. So, it's all fart. It smells gross. And then, once it cools, I pour a, a layer of um, apple pie apple pie on top so when you smell it when you first burn it for like you know the first several hours it is going to smell so delicious like apple pie like freshly baked apple pie like who is making pie in the oven and i need a slice give me some ice cream to go on top this is going to be phenomenal and then you get the scent of gross disgusting doo-doo fart it is so nasty and gross 
and I can guarantee that some of you guys, I'm gonna probably get some terrible reviews from this, who burn this candle and unknowingly, you know, realize it smells like doo-doo. So I need y'all not to hate me because the job is, the candle is doing its job. It's smelling like apple pie and then it goes to fart. And this season, like since I posted it up, it has been flying off the shelves and my house has been smelling like doo-doo more than Christmas tree. So I think I might be on to something here. So it looks like apple pie. There's nothing on it that indicates, you know, that it is a fart smelling candle and chances are this is the funny thing um you'll never think that your candle that smells like apple pie for all these hours is all of a sudden going to smell like doo-doo so if you have if you're a prankster because i'm a prankster and i think stuff like this is hilarious this is something i would do to someone else if everyone didn't know that this is what i do it would be hilarious to gift so um maybe you have a co-worker or you're doing secret santa gift at your job don't mess around and get fired though you're doing a secret santa gift at your job and you know the gift exchange like oh here's your apple pie and you know this was my person or there's someone you don't like at your job you can get them this candle even if you do like them it would just be a hilarious gift i think this I think this is just hilarious so you can check it out on the website apple pie candle and it should pop right up and there's a blueberry version too and it's just blueberry you know on top all right so the next candle is this is this is the gourmet candle official i love making this candle so this is actually a butter crumble apple pie candle this is what it looks like in the box okay that's little me up there that's little me <laughs> It's a butter crumble apple pie. Now, when I first started my business, I started making candles that look just like food, right? So I wanted the apple pie to not only smell like apple pie, but look like apple pie. I'm very, very creative. I love anything creative. So it was important to me to make sure my candles look as authentic as possible to the real thing. So this is butter crumble apple pie, all right? <laughs> Samantha, you should get one for your supervisor. <laughs> then never see it coming. This is what it looks like out of the box, okay? So you have the apple slices, cookie crumbs, there's an ice cream scoop in the middle, and there's little pecans, okay? This is literally my favorite candle to make, and it's also my most popular candle. So, with that, if if anything is out of stock or anything is ever out of stock, this is always in stock. I always make tons of these because everyone loves them at events, my wholesale retailers, on the website, on Etsy, everyone always gets a butter crumble apple pie. I always have butter crumble apple pie. So again, I'm going through all the scents that are available and ready to ship during the holidays. So if you need a last minute gift, you're like, all right, look, I need this like yesterday. This is great for that. There's always butter crumble apple pie. And this is what it looks like in the box. You can always get a nice little ribbon and tie it up and make it cute. Like, Merry Christmas. So it's a nice little, and it'll fit in a stocking too if you want to make it a stocking stuffer. All right, so three more scents to go. These are actually the mason jar candles. So I make large mason jar candles. So for years, I've made the pies. I made the smaller tins. I've had people asking, like, do you make larger candles? And I'm like, I make made to order larger candles i don't just keep larger candles around because i have so many different scents and what are the chances that someone's going to order you know a bunch of hey chelsea <laughs> what are the chances that someone's going to order a ton of you know taco candle 12 ounce taco candles so um they're usually made to order however during the holiday season i have certain scents that are already available and ready to ship so when they're made to order, they are freshly made at the time that you order. So they take a little bit longer to ship and for processing than candles that are already in season and ready to ship. Like, you know, Christmas tree, because it's the holidays, everyone's buying Christmas tree scented candles and, you know, candy cane, eggnog, coffee, fireside, apple cider, and things like that. So this is gingerbread, gingerbread house. These larger candles, these are 12 ounces. They burn, these are great for larger rooms or if you're one of those people who burn candles literally like all day you're like i'm gonna be home all day so i'm just gonna burn candles all day those are great for the for you know situations like that apple cider is another one and keep in mind the larger candles 
in here they have the wooden wicks and if you remember what I said about the fireside candle wooden wicks crackle so they have like a nice soothing sound when you're actually burning them and uh, they burn a little bit quicker than traditional cotton wick candles so that allows you to enjoy the scent a lot quicker than you would you know cotton wick candles or if you have a guest coming over and you're like all right I need the house to smell good now and air freshener is temporary but a candle will last for hours as long as they're there Bam, apple cider, can't go wrong with that. And you have the wooden wicks, two wicks. So you get a nice, even, long burn and the crackle of the candle. All right, so the last one is Dickens Christmas. So this is the one I said that's like my favorite Christmassy candle. With this, it smells like clove and cinnamon, apple, cedarwood. It's like an earthy Christmassy scent. It's kind of hard to explain. It might sound a little crazy all mixed together, but listen to me. Hear me when I say, hear this. This Dickens Christmas candle smells all freaking amazing. It smells like, when you think of Christmas, you'll think about this. It's like an old-fashioned Christmas scent. That's my favorite way to describe this candle. Dickens Christmas. There you go, and it has two wooden wicks two wicks in here so it would allow like a nice even long lasting burn again these are great for these are great for small rums these will pack a punch immediately is the flame high on wooden wicks it's it's not it's a little bit higher than the cotton wicks but you got to keep in mind that you have to trim your wicks if you don't trim your wicks then you'll have a higher flame it'll produce the soot in your ceilings you'll get the dark marks on the side of your jar and all of that and i discussed this in my candle making classes too because i love sharing tips but um it it burns it burns quicker than a cotton wick and it's a two wick candle but it will disperse the scent like almost immediately and the sound of the crackle is so relaxing all right, so we have that. There's also a Christmas tree candle. I didn't bring that over. So there's a Christmas tree candle because, again, Christmas tree is in season right now, okay? Christmas tree candles, if you don't burn Christmas tree all year, burn it this season, okay? So I also have a 12 ounce, and these are um, 12 ounces of soy wax. And the great thing about mason jars, so I have on top ways to reuse mason jars because if you know me, you know I'm very frugal and I like to reuse things if I can in a tasteful way in a very tasteful way so with these mason jar candles once you use all the wax and everything and all of it is burnt out oh my god you have Miss Wilburn please trim your wicks if you're in Philly you come to one of my classes I'm gonna explain the importance of trimming wicks or maybe I'll make another live but you have to trim your wicks I promise you you will see a complete difference in your candles I'm begging you you don't even have to have the expensive wick trimmers you can use scissors there's a couple other things but uh, I think I might make another video about that later but please trim your wicks find a way even if you have to use scissors trim your wicks but the mason jar candles, all right, so I have like nice tasteful ways you can reuse them. So again, you want to make sure you wash them out after you use all the wax in there. And I have the tips on the top. So you can use it for iced coffee, hot cocoa, or soup. Okay, that's one of the ways you can reuse these mason jars. So once you're done, you wash them out with um, hot soap and water. And this is soy wax. Soy wax is clean burning, biodegradable. It has a lot of really good properties. And um, after you're done with it, you can reuse it doing that. You can also use it for pencil, pens, or makeup, or brush holders. Okay. And I actually do this. I have a mason jar, and it's full of all of, like, my makeup brushes. I don't wear makeup often, but when I do, I'm like, I want to keep everything organized. So I have them in, like, a nice mason jar, and I put, I think it's called washi tape around it. So it's nice, and it's really super cute and pretty. So you can reuse them for makeup brush holders, for pencils or pens. So if you have a desk full of pens, don't do that, okay? You can reuse a mason jar and you can decorate it in permanent marker or you can decorate it in washi tape or just anything and you can put it all in here and keep it organized because that's also where I keep my pens. You can fill it with candy and add a bow for a cutesy DIY gift. This is another great thing. You can fill these mason jars with, let's just say, peppermints. Peppermints. You could put them um, with peppermints. You can get like a cute little, um, if you frequent the dollar store, even if you don't, go to the dollar store and get a ribbon, right? And they have like the nice thick ribbons. And they also have curling ribbon too. You can tie a ribbon around and have candy cane. And you can just, you know, it's a cutesy, inexpensive gift. You can get candy canes from like, you know, the grocery store or peppermints from the grocery store and fill it up. Fill them up with candy, add a bow. And you're like, 
Merry Christmas or whatever the case is. Even if it's not Christmas, you could do it as a little cutesy add-on birthday gift. Yep, just like a thinking of you gift. You can also um, add flowers and use it as a vase or a planter for your succulents. So I do this as well. I actually have it over there, but it's a, it's a larger mason jar. So um, I like rustic. My whole theme just in my room and everything is rustic. We have like rustic white decor with accents of like silver and teal because I love those colors. So um, it could be a rustic flower vase or a planter. So if you have little succulents, you can add like a layer of sand, a layer of gravel, a layer of dirt, and then place your succulent in. It's super cute. I've given them as add-on gifts last year for um for Christmas. I gave them to I think three or four different people, but they were like add-on gifts. Like, oh, here's a bonus gift in addition to the other gifts because I like to give a, a few extra gifts sprinkled around. You could use it as a tea light lantern. So if you guys burn candles frequently or, you know, whatever the case, and you know what a tea light is, they're like the little small circular candles, right? You can fill it up with water and then light a tea light and sit it on top and allow it to float and sit it in the middle of your table as a centerpiece bow and it's inexpensive too and tea lights are they're not expensive you could get them at different stores i used to sell them in sets but i don't really do them anymore if someone buys a certain amount or i'm feeling you know nice i'll just throw in free tea lights with your order have a tea light merry christmas happy birthday it's monday have a tea light so you can always fill this up with water or you can fill it up with sand and then add um, a tea light on top. It makes cute decor, especially in the summertime. That's what I do. I'll fill it up like halfway up with sand, add a tea light, and then a few little um, seashells, and it's really cute. Or I have them on my table when I vend events. Okay. Another, well, the last way you can use it is a peach cobbler in a jar. So if you're familiar with it, you can make jar desserts. Pinterest has lots of ideas on how to make like jar desserts and mason jars are great for them. Now again, you want to make sure that you wash out your jar, right? Hot water, oh, warm water, because you don't want to burn yourself. And soap, and you can reuse these. And each one has the glue dot that keeps the um, candle wick centered, so we don't have off-centered candles. And with that, you know, the hot water will help release it anyway. And you can use an old sponge or whatever and scrub it out. And then reuse it because, you know, it, I'm all about being frugal. I have no shame in being frugal as long as, you know, you do it tastefully. So those are some ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of this. Oh, thank you, Samantha. I didn't do my schedule for January yet. But the schedule for December classes, there's one on the 15th at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., which is coming up next Saturday. Not tomorrow, but the next Saturday. And we'll be making uh, candles and bath salt. So we'll be making a holiday spa set. I'm actually going to do a post uh, video on that. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow or Sunday at the latest because I'm excited to talk about the scents and exactly what we'll be making there. And then there's one on the 29th of December, and I think that's the Winter Wonderland one. Again, they're all on Saturdays at 5 and 7, where I teach you guys how to make candles, and, you know, we sip on wine, and it's so much fun. But I'm going to discuss that tomorrow. So these are pretty much, all the candles that I went through today are pretty much the candles that are available, and ready to ship if you need something quick the other candles that you see on the website they're available but if they're not in season there's something like a wine fusion what do i have funnel cake or whatever the case is they might take a little bit longer but if you're like a last minute shopper like me and you're like look i need to hurry up and get this out because i waited last minute because i just started my christmas shopping yesterday then these are great ready to ship orders so thank you guys for your time feel free to check out my website at www.gourmetcandle.org I'm also on Etsy so if you want to know what does best and what people think about certain things I think I have about a little bit over 800 different reviews so you can see oh this is a good scent and this is a great scent or maybe I should try this or you can always feel free to reach out and ask me and the website is gourmetcandle.org www.gourmetcandle.org or you can uh, visit me on Etsy and if you have any other questions you can feel free to message me on Facebook or info at gourmetcandle.org and that's via email. Bye guys. Have a good holiday.